del Comité Ejecutivo del Comando por el No, representando la democracia cristiana. Isabel, what are you expecting tomorrow? Uh, we are very worried because we have heard rumors. We have heard the State Department calling the Chilean ambassador in Washington, telling him that they have knowledge that they are trying to do something to stop the plebiscite and that they shouldn't do it. Now, when the State Department calls the Chilean ambassador in Washington, it's because he knows something serious. He doesn't call because of a rumor. So I don't know what the government is planning to do tomorrow. What I know is the Chilean people has already given their vote, and their vote is no to Pinochet, yes to democracy. Well, I think that the feeling of everybody today is that there is an overwhelming majority of people who will vote no. Now, the question is whether the government and the army will accept that no. And there is, I feel, this uncertainty from everybody and, uh, and the fear that what is going to happen after tomorrow. Bueno, para mañana esperamos en primer lugar un triunfo contundente de la opción del no de las fuerzas democráticas de este país. Eh, esperamos reacciones del régimen de último momento que pudiesen intentar alterar los resultados del plebiscito. Es una posibilidad que ha estado siempre presente, pero tenemos los acuerdos en la oposición para enfrentar también esa posibilidad.